Hello everyone. How's everybody doing? Just give me one minute and we'll get started. Who do we got with us? Want to do the happy dance. We did it. We went live on Facebook without a hitch. Now watch it quit on me. <laughs> we'll see. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Everybody doing good today? Ready to make a gnome wreath? And I even have comments showing up. Wow, it worked. Now I'm sure something will go wrong, but hey, we got camera. Oh, <laughs> no, it's Wednesday. I was just a little behind. I had a bunch of errands to run. And you can hear the sound okay, Sandra? I'm keeping my fingers crossed, yes. Doing just fine. And you? We're going to make a gnome wreath today. How's that? I'm going to use one of my big gnomes that I made that um, is going on the wreath. Isn't that the cutest? Now that one needs to be trimmed just a little bit. There we go. There. Hi, Linda. How are you? All right. I'm just not sure which side of the wreath I want to put this on. He's got a really long beard, so I want that to cascade down. This is a, a lit, a lighted wreath. Well, got no more plugs to plug it in. I think I'll go with this side because I think that supports the bell. <laughs> Story of my life. I feel sorry for the people that got behind me in Joann's because I had so much fabric to cut. And then I get to the checkout and the checkout, the, hi Carol, big hugs, baby, miss you. Um, got to the checkout and then she proceeded to punch my order in and then it canceled the whole thing out. So, <laughs> story of my life. Oh, and check this out, guys. You saw my little gnomes that I started making, right? Well, somebody asked for blue snowman fabric. Look what I found. And it's got like silver glitter on it too. Isn't that cute? So now we gotta make more in blue. And I found a red and a gray too that I thought would be awesome too. I'm great. I'm glad everybody's doing good. All right, so there is a tie here at the top to, to anchor it down. And I also have a pipe cleaner here that I'm going to anchor it. Now I'm just trying to figure out where I want the cord. I guess the cord can be there at the bottom. Thank you. I had I posted on my Facebook page yesterday and I already got swamped with orders. <laughs> Which is a good thing. But now I have to go out. I had to buy more supplies. Oh, you can't. I'll post a picture of it because somebody wanted a snowman. Blue with snowmen. Really? Let me know if it continues because I can't believe it finally worked. I contacted Mevo yesterday and they said you probably have an update on your phone. And Klee was nice enough to tell me I, I probably had an update. 
course, it took me half the afternoon to find out where the update was because <laughs> I'm so technically challenged. There we go. I had a bigger wreath, but A tutorial on what? The gnomes? The little gnomes or the big gnomes? <laughs> he could be. Actually, this is this is 13 inches. I have the base to make a smaller one. So I'm going to make some smaller ones because I had a request locally from a family, hi Judy, that wanted a family of four, the mother, the father, see and I make the little braids on the mom, and then I'll make two children, so we'll do that. Um, there is a tutorial on the big gnome already on my YouTube channel, and the little gnomes, we did that in our private group. There's perks to being in our private group. <laughs> Hi, Dawn. And you guys all see, you saw Dawn's wreath, didn't you, that she did with it? Turned out awesome. I made that gray one just for her to go with her sign. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, I did pick out a couple of um, ribbons. I thought this one was pretty. Are you still out of focus? I hope not. And then I thought this one was nice because this is kind of like a natural and it has happy holidays, peace, seasons, greetings, joy to the world. And then I had a red that had some gold in it. And I thought possibly this black one. Black always looks good. Thank you. So I think we'll start with our bow because then I'll know where I want to place everything else. So let's start with that. I also have this too. So I'll let you guys help me decide. Hopefully Yvonne will, Levon will get on because she gets upset. She wants to pick out the ribbon. This table is so full of glitter from the last... Um, oh, and I have those gnomes in other colors too. I got a different gray for the beard today. This one I love. And this one I love. I love picking fabric. Oops. A rope. There we go. So there's all those to choose from. But I know how popular Buffalo Check is, so I figured that was the color to go with for the first one. Yeah. oh There we go. Well, there are some pegs here. We'll have to use those because I don't know where the other one went. It was around here somewhere. Well, what I can do, I can put these up here and as I build it, then I can move those down. Okay. All right, so the first one we're going to use is this buffalo check with the, the um, snowflakes on it. The form for the, the gnome, Judy, it's all in the tutorial. It's on my uh, YouTube channel. It shows you the whole thing, which... I got told afterwards, that's not the one I want to start with. Um, 
Amy from the BAM Wreaths told me I should not have given it away. I should have charged for the tutorial. All right, so we're going to start with the black. And I always add my wire as I go. I don't have it attached. Like I go in between. Okay, this has to slide over here. So it's going in this direction. And this goes that way. Hi, Anita. Welcome. I know, right? I should have ordered an extra set. I took them out when I came back from conference because um, I showed you how to make this bow and it did not require the first three pegs. And I love this bow. Wouldn't that look pretty on a mailbox too? There we go. See, I don't attach it to here. I don't attach it up there. I just keep it right there. But that's my preference. You do it however you want. Okay, what do you think about this one for the next? Has a little bit of gold in it. Aw, thank you. Spread the love for me, guys. I'm so close to 1400. It's it's awesome. And my YouTube video for the gnome hit over 600 already. So that's just awesome. I know everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Anita. I've been trying to get on, but my Mevo and Facebook were not cooperating. So I ended up having to go on um, YouTube. I ended up putting two, two on there. Darn sales calls. The phone's going crazy up there. Why does that do not call list not work? I'm tapped out of all the numbers that I can block on my phone now. Anita, did you see my gnomes? The little ones? Thank you, Dawn. Did you guys see that we have a private group now? With eight designers. Awesome designers. Last week, Dawn did a, a swag. She had a gnome, um, a gnome sign that I made, a gnome to match her sign for her. Okay, so we got the black and white. We've got the red. Now, you have to choose. I'm definitely using this one with the snowflakes. I know, right? Hi, Anna. Okay, so which one do you think? The natural or the black? What's your preference? This is what I'm going to be using, but which one of these do you think? The natural. The natural has black in it. It has the red in it. It has beige, which looks good against the wreath. Judy says natural. Okay, that's what we're going with, Judy. Now 
Now this one, I want to make sure that I get the wording going in the direction it's supposed to go. Oh, Diana said black. Well, we could add both. I could add a row of natural, and I could add a row of black, and then I could add this. How's that for a compromise? Is that good? No. This is going to be the challenge because I want to keep the lettering going in the right direction. So I feel like I'm working backwards here. I can twist it when it's in the bow. As long as I get the tails going the right way, I'll just twist it. All right, we'll do one of the natural, and then we'll do one of the black. How's that? Oh, where's my ties? We're, we, we work good together, all of us. And then I'll just, actually I can turn this right now, there, so the lettering is going in the direction I want it to go. Look at that. It's amazing when you have the camera working for you, everything seems to fall into place. I'm using my Probo the hand. Was anybody that's on today at the conference, the wreath conference in Rochester? I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the ribbon tail the way I want it first. Well, no, let's do this. And then I'll add the ribbon tail. Leave a little bit hanging over so it'll grab it. I'll twist that when I'm done. And then I'll place the tail in place going the way I want it to go. Now where's my little piece of wire? There it is. All right. So, you guys see okay? And then I'll add my tail after I dovetail it. Dawn, um, Kali and also Mevo told me to go to my phone and update the app. And there was an update there waiting for me. And I updated it and it worked right away. Except I left the Mevo on and I took the Mevo out of my bedroom and put it in the dining room. It was still, still going. People were hopping on. Hi, Debbie. We're making a gnome wreath. Right now we're doing a, um, the bow on the Pro Bow of the Hand. We've got a, an evergreen wreath that has lights on it already, and I'm adding one of my gnomes to it. Hi, Jeannie. How's Jeannie today? 
All right, now we're going to add our snowflake buffalo check ribbon. I don't scrunch real good. Actually, let's wait till we put it in place. Ooh, this ribbon is good and stiff. Not sure where I got it either. It's from last year. Thanks, Sandra. Sandra's moderating for me. Awesome. Now, I always do better if I grab a pair of pliers. Yes, she is. Because I posed the question to our group on Lori's page, and she said, do, you know, update your app. And sure enough, and that's what the guy at Mevo told me, update your app. Then my next question was, where do I find my apps? <laughs> you have to go to your app store. Geez, I had like umpteen things on there that needed to be updated. So I think we're like 17 of them that had to be updated. And it worked. So I said, watch it crap out or the, or the um, card be full. And, but it's so far, it's so far working. Yay! Don't forget to send me a picture, Deb. I can't wait to see. I've already seen someone post them for $55. And I'm like, that's outrageous. Mine are all hand-stitched. Uh, not hand-stitched. I do it on the sewing machine. And I even made my noses. I had some noses, but I think uh, I think I like the ones that I make better. They just look more natural. So, but I've got orders for those and the little ones. So I had to go out and buy more fabric today. I bought a gray and red check, and then I bought a blue that has little snowmen on it. I thought that would be cute. I <laughs> know, right? I never check them, Dawn. I never even give it a thought. And I should. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see how this turned out. I wish I would have had more time at conference with the lady that was making the bows. She was amazing. I'm even seeing comments too. Isn't that awesome? I love this snowflake one. Wow. And I love the black in here. I think that really looks pretty. That's a Sam's Club ribbon. The tan with the wording is a Sam's Club ribbon. The red is a Sam's Club ribbon. This is a Sam's Club ribbon. <laughs> the only one that isn't is the check with the snowflakes. I have a have this one that has the red and gray and I thought isn't that going to look pretty with that one I use that all year long I like that little pop of tan in there 
And I like the black, too. over here thank you Get this red out I wanted to do the bow before I started adding stuff. Because I think that will determine where things are going to go a lot better. Thank you, Connie. I so appreciate that. I'm almost a 1400 on my Facebook page and that's just awesome all right wow that's one big bow okay where do we want to place the bow do we want to place it up top here or do we want to place it see I think it doesn't look right here so either here side by side. Judy, you need one of those pro bow. <laughs> or mine <laughs> would not look like this. Where's my PVC pipe? I have a piece of pipe that I use to to uh, you know, nothing's ever where you put it. I'll find it was right here but it's not so do we want it here or up here where do you think I'll put I'll put it up like this so you can see here or here side top <laughs> okay we're gonna take a poll Gnomes everywhere. That's a good idea, Sandra. Thank you. Maybe up just a little bit. So like, kind of like that. That looks pretty good. All right. Let's like not make it directly at the top or... Just kind of here. All right. That works. Now let's. I love these evergreen wreaths because it's so easy to get your thing through. Yes. I know, aren't those colors gorgeous? I love it. Thank you for suggesting those colors. I think they really look good. I want to change this so my wording is right side up. I hate that. I do not like it when you have a bow and your wording is pointing down. It looks awkward to me. When it's like that. Now, if I had my PVC pipe, I would just roll this up. Drop on the floor. There. 
just to give it a little more volume. Sorry guys, I gotta turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. And I've lost like two totes of Christmas stuff. I have a tote of ribbon that I cannot locate. So I'm freaking out. This way with that. There. Now, I don't know if I want to add some of that in there. Or not. No. There's a look I'm going for and I'm not sure I'm going to achieve it, but I have some of these sprigs that I got at Michael's. They were actually um, in the um, fall stuff and I thought, well, they would look nice in here. They look nice against the green. Brings it out. I should probably go this way. Watch Nick at conference, and he was putting everything in the direction that the wreath was going. I think I'll do that. I like the way that looked. Yeah, and this was like 40% off. One thing I do usually at Christmas is when I buy one of these wreaths, I also buy a garland. And the garland will have different um, textured pine on it. And what I do is I add some of that in to give it a fuller, more natural look. So some of that in there would be good. This one actually has a couple of different... Um, different ones in it so right so I've got my I got five so I like that combination now if I wanted I could even add a snowflake on him but I thought some snowflakes different size snowflakes in the wreath would look good let's put this over here I got seven of them. So maybe I'll put just a little one on him. I'm trying to think if we need anything else. Mm, I have these. Nope. I think it needs something maybe with a little gold. Oh, these look pretty good with that. I have three of those. 
just something with a little bit of a different texture. <laughs> usually is all the time right under my nose. I usually walk past it about five or six times. Um, I think it needs a little hint of gold. Let me see what I got. Or... Or maybe I could even add some pine cones to it. Yes, we need some pine cones. Make it woodsy like. gold. I know I have another one of those. Let me get it. forgot to plug in my light. There we go. All right, so we got some pine cones, some balls. And I don't know. Nope, don't like those. Needs to just be kind of natural. Okay. I think that looks good. If I glue it, what are your thoughts? Got some earthy stuff in there. We've got all the colors in our bow. I can't wait because I sent one of these bigger gnomes off to... Um, Amy with the BAM wreaths, and I can't wait to see what she does with my gnome. Whoop, his beard is a little out of whack there. There we go. Thank you. I've got a lot of Christmas wreaths I have to make. My aunt is selling them down at her retirement community for me. I took down 15 the other week, and she sold all of them but two. And now she wants Christmas ones, so some of these will be going there. Thank you. And see, this was $14 at... Um, Michael's and then 40% off of that. I just wanted a hint of some snowflakes in there and some woodsy stuff. So. I know. I cannot wait. I, I am just so beyond excited. She should have it today. I think with some of the flooding there was a delay in, in the mail. So, and she promised me she would tell me when she goes live with it. And her sister Catherine has Tickle Me So, and I am in love with her designs. She has just inspired me so much. Let's see. This was the one that Amy got. She got the one that has the, the this color in it. She is a gem. I, I don't know what I'd, where I'd be without her. My mother passed a couple of years ago, and she was younger than my aunt, and it's just so nice to be able to talk to her because she gets me. She knows, she knows me. She gets me. And uh, 
I'm just so grateful to have her. So, all right. Um, next, let's see, today's Wednesday. Their second chance Saturday. Um, I don't know what I'm doing for that. I did a snowman out of a tall cookie tin last week. That's on the YouTube channel. Then um, I have to think of something for this week. I didn't go treasure hunting today. I had too many errands, so um, I'll come up with something. And then look for me next Monday night. I think what we'll do is we'll use these. I have a real cute sleigh that I thought it would be cute to put maybe a whole family in. I only have one more set of these left, and I'm keeping one for myself. This was actually a flannel shirt that I found, and I love these colors together. So I've got one set left, and then that's it for that color. Um, but I also did the small gnomes in this color, and I went out today and I found a real nice brown for the um, for the uh, hat and see the hat I stitch on my machine with the blanket stitch with a coordinating color and then I glitter it I know right that woman blows me away she is so excited because she's going to um, Scott's conference in March, she's going to be one of the presenters along with her sister. If I could tolerate a plane, I would be going, but I just can't, I can't fly. So, I know. Linda, it's on there. You just have to go down through the videos. It was a live, and it was it was this one, I think, that I did. And see, I will make them either as a door hanger, or I add ties to the back, and you can tie it down to a wreath. I have um, I have a an idea for a gnome sign. And I thought this would really be cute to sell this with a couple of balls um, in the same fabric as the uh, gnome. So that's on the list. So yes, there are several ways to do it. All right, guys, I guess that's it for today. I thank you for joining me. I thank you for hanging in there. I thank you for spreading the love. Don't forget to, um, if you're not alerted when I go live, you need to do that. And you also should um, go on my YouTube channel and hit the bell. The bell, you can subscribe, but if you hit the bell, it will let you know when I'm live. Oh, let me show you one I did last year. This one is huge. It's a little whacked out here. But look at this one. I found this little elf on a sled. Look at that. Is that not huge? <laughs> I love this wreath. I hung it outside last year because it didn't sell, but I just I just love the size of it. And it's got lights too. was the guy I found and I have an elf I'm making and I have an angel that I'm making so there's more to come all right guys I'll let you go thank you for joining me and look forward to seeing you again real soon all right, have a great day. You are so welcome. Thank you. Now if we can get it to turn off, we're good. <laughs> there we go.
See ya.